Yo, what's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? As you can tell, we got 120k stubs. We've been grinding out Team Affinity. We actually completed all Team Affinities today. We grinded them out. We got, like, all the exchanges in. We grinded out, like, 12 showdowns, some moments. But as y'all can tell by the title of the video, we got the home or the um, All-Star Game Packs. And let me show y'all who I actually think is, like, actually really good. So first, you get this Liam Hendricks card. Here, I'll just go ahead and hide the face cam. So uh, we get this Liam Hendricks as the first card they revealed. This card looks absolutely filthy. The only thing people might say they don't like is his pitch mix. I still, I like it. The only thing I wish was different was either get rid of the choosing for a change up or change the curveball to a, um, a change up. I wish a change up was in there, but I guess you're gonna have to deal with the two maybe three pitch mix but with those pair nines he should still be pretty good he's got really good control and he's got decent break especially on the fastball so watch out for that so then you move on to xander bogarts xander bogarts 122 89 against righties and 116 91 respectable numbers in general this card's giving trey turner a run for his money that's for sure then 80 fielding 83 arm 89 excel 81 reaction and 62 speed Overall, a decent card. Then you got this 97 overall Lance Land. When I saw this card, I didn't even think it was legal. Like, I think this card's gonna be illegal in like 27 different states, or like 51 different states in the US. Like, 51 states in the US is gonna be um, illegal. <laughs> if you don't get the joke, there's only 50 states. Go study your history. <laughs> or geography, whatever it's called. I don't even know. But. He's got 100 stamina, 115 hits per nine, 90 hit Ks per nine, 91 ball or um, balls per nine, walks per nine, whatever you want to call it, 89 home runs per nine, and 90 control. 79 velo, not the best, but 93 break. He's got a four seam, a cutter, a sinker, a 12 six curve, and a change up. You can't ask for really much of a better pit pitch repertoire. And he, look at his control. Only the change up is bad. Like, this Lance Lynn card is going to be in a lot of people's rotations, that's for sure. And then you get this 98 overall JT Real Muto. And let's just say that um, stage or, um, stage 3 Tim Affinity card ain't nothing compared to this JT Real Muto. This JT looks filthy. 100 and 101 on contact and power against righties. 97, 92. A tiny bit low, but not really. Then you got 85 vision, 86 discipline, 90 clutch. 89 durability, 80 arm or 80 fielding, 98 arm, 89 excel, 82 reaction, 89 block, and 74 speed. This card looks absolutely filthy. Give the Kyle Schwarber run for his money. Then you got this 99 overall Freddy Peralta. Holy crap! You thought Shohei was good, and you thought Degrom was good, buddy. Look at those per nines. Like even though the walks per nine are pretty low. They're still not that bad. Freddy Peralta, this card might be a problem. The only thing is, like, his pitch mix looks kind of basic, but not really. He's got a sinker, a curveball, a four seam, a slider, and a changeup. This card's absolutely filthy. Decent control. Only don't like the um, sinker that much. It's not going to have much break on it. Overall, a fun card. Then you got this 99 Vladdy. 99 Vladdy. It kind of sucks. That Vladdy is, is like only a first and like a third baseman. Because we just got that Pete Alonzo card. And I'd recommend Pete Alonzo over this Vladdy card. Even though Vladdy looks like your daddy. <laughs> Vladdy looks like daddy right now. And yet you can't even put him on your team. So. What does that mean for us? Well it looks like. You just need a sh shoot ton of stubs. To get Otani. And I don't like that. So we're going to go ahead and buy these cards while they're like really cheap. Since everyone's ripping packs. 7, 2, 5, 5. Yeah, give me that Xander Bogarts right now. And then Liam Hendricks. I want Liam Hendricks. Give me him. A sup. 7, 2, 5, 5. There you go. Got Liam Hendricks. Trevor's story is 36k. What are the other guys looking like? Lancelin, what's his price right now? 38? Ouch. 
I really don't know if I'm going to spend that. I really don't know. And if I'm not mistaken, I think these cards... Are, I think these packs are going away tomorrow. Yeah. No, two days. In two days, these packs go away. So, it's going to be interesting. Like, how they do it. I don't know what I mean by that, but... This is interesting. They also said, check your, um... Your thing. Up here. So, you got that. The choice pack. All-star game. The all-star collection. Pro Tani. They said, check your calendar. Alright, the calendar. We already got 12 and 13. Split squad event 1. More content. There's one more thing. Prepare your all-star squad for this program. All-star program. I don't know what they mean by that. But you got split squad 1 event. So interesting. Don't know what they mean by that. You're probably going to be able to get more like these packs. And like the event thing. So just remember that. I wouldn't put all your stubs into investing into these cards. If I'm going to be honest. Like I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't recommend investing a ton of stubs into these cards. Because it doesn't look like the price is going to go back up. Like it's pretty much going to stay where it's at or go down. That's just what it looks like. And who knows? I think they might have added a collection. No, they didn't. Screw you, SDS. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna get Otani, but I can't. I know I don't have the stubs for him. I can only get one big player if I really wanted to. So that sucks. I can't get Otani day one, but... We're at 38 out of 46. Just go ahead and lock those guys in. But I'll take it. We've made a lot of progress. The only hard part is... Which one of these cards do you go for? Holy crap. Holy crap. So let's see. What would it take right now for me to get this? 100 plus 40-ish plus another 125. So we're at what? 270-ish. And then about 310-ish. 350. And then 450 or 380 and then yeah. It's it's about 500k stubs I need. And I'm at 100k. Doc Peterson will come on its own. But yeah. So let's see how many cards there actually are you can get. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 49. There are 48 cards you can really collect. So there's, you can only pass on two cards to lock in. It's looking like this Freddy and Vlad, you're going to be the move. Yeah. Honestly, right now... In my case, it might be smarter to actually just buy the packs, actually. Because of how expensive they are right now. It might be smart to buy them, to be honest. Because if you hit, you hit big. It's like really risky, though. Do I really want to try it? It's 30k. I could possibly just be wasting... I don't really feel good about doing it. Because if I mess up, I mess up big time. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't recommend I don't recommend it. Even though it looks really tempting, it's a 1 in 10 odds. Probably not going to cash out. Yeah. It's tempting because you see how much the prices are, but there's a reason why the prices are so high. These prices are going to fly down as more people open these packs. Trust me, it's going to happen. But, besides that, I'm hoping theoretically these cards will go down, but I could be wrong about that. But also from what I've seen, Jackie's like really cheap now. It's like almost 10k per card. I could probably get Jackie right now if I really wanted to. <laughs> but, jeez. Shohei Otani. This is the card I want. 
All right, what I'm gonna do, don't recommend ever doing in your life. Yeah. If I get lucky, I get lucky. If I don't, I don't. Please, somehow give me at least a mid round. Three, two, I can't look. Ah, I can't look. Oh, how about my... <sighs> That's why you don't buy these packs. That's why you don't buy these packs. Because you just get these guys. Whatever. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. No matching order, whatever. List on the market for 7555. Five, five. Yeah. Whatever. Not gonna complain too much about it. I don't recommend really buying packs. I only did one because why not? <laughs> I had to I had to spend 30k on it, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. It was worth it. If I pulled that, I would definitely sell it because I would have made so many stuff <clears throat> so many stubs, but yeah, I'm gonna have to buy these cards I don't want to. But that's all for this video. I wish y'all luck on getting Otani. I wish you luck on packs if you buy them. And I think that's it. So peace out, YouTube. Um, yeah. Make sure you guys like, subscribe if you're new. If you made it this far, you must have liked the video. So, hey. Also, same as last video. Forgot to say this in the beginning of the video. If you subscribe, or yeah, make sure you subscribe and comment down below. You did. And I will respond back 100%. I always respond back on pretty much every comment. So yeah, I'll see y'all next video. Peace out, boys.